A fundamental skill in nuzlocking is understanding how the enemy AI works. So I thought, what better way to test that knowledge than to make a ROM hack where the game doesn't just control enemy Pokemon, but my own as well. I have no control over what moves my Pokemon use in battle or when they switch out. These decisions are all made by the same code that the game uses to control its trainers. As soon as I enter a trainer battle, it's hands off the wheel and hope that I win. The only input I have is team building and optimizing movesets. Let's see if Pokemon Emerald can hardcore nuzlocke itself. Wait, did I just create a Pokemon auto battler? Like the more I'm thinking about it, cause like Shroomish doesn't do any fucking damage. I think we need all the damage on Nose Pass we can get. And honestly, I'd rather walk out here with a win than these two dead. I guess it would be these three dead. And then it's only Beautifly left for Norman. What else do I get? Or for, for Brawly, what else do I even get before that? Okay, this is actually a lot more difficult than I thought. I mean, ideally Trico solos, right? It's not crazy to assume that Trico solos. But then again, Absorb is a really shit move. I think both of these have the same defensive stats. I'm not 100% sure. So I think these are two. These are both one shot. I'm careful nature. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Boys, I don't know. All right. I mean, if it, if she does that, we're pretty we're pretty golden. But I don't remember if that's potion range or not. That's rock tomb number one. That's really bad. But that is overgrow. Um, not after Orin Berry though. We live another rock tomb. We'll see if we're still faster. It feels so bad that I have no. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's 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 not. That's oh, that's that's not. That's I I that's not good at all. Um, yeah, like I said, it would go Wingle here. This is also gonna die, I think. I, I'll I'll take it. You know what? Give a subversive nickname to my Makuhita with ten letters or less. How about Knuckle Spy? <laughs> you know what? It's time for ads. And if you want to pick up something practical for your next journey, consider the sponsor of this video, Manscaped, with my favorite product of theirs, The Handyman. Listen, I've been working with Manscaped for a long time now. They've sent me a lot of products that were great but this is by far my favorite. I've been traveling a ton this year for events, for vacations, for work, for lots of stuff, and staying well-groomed and well-shaven on those travels, it can be a hassle bringing an entire razor kit, bringing your shaving cream, or bringing a whole ass, uh, bringing a huge razor, it's, it's, this is what this is for, the handyman. Very simple, very clean shave, very easy. Get rid of that three-day beard you acquired on one day on the airplane because somehow airplanes make you age five days and. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's such an easy thing to just throw into your backpack and just leave it there forever. A lot of the hygiene electronics, for some reason, don't charge with USB-C, like an electric toothbrush or a lot of razor stuff have like a weird, so you have to bring a whole extra cable and it's a whole thing. No, you just pop this in. You have 16 USB-C cables laying around in your closet right now. You just pop that in. It's so easy. It's got skin safe technology. It's waterproof. It's really nice. It's really easy. And it's just such a simple thing. Because there is a gift for the holidays or buy it when you're going away for the holidays and traveling. If you go to manscaped.com slash Pokemon challenges, the link is down in the description or in the comments. Uh, you get 20% off of any Manscaped product. Go check them out. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. All right, hands off the keyboard. The legitimate controller, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he basically only has fighting type moves. So I legitimately think Beautify might just solo here. Okay, it's just Poison Sting for no reason. Nice. Oh, cause it, yeah, yeah, it saw a kill with Poison Sting off of the, off of the low HP there, which is bad. Because if that would have poisoned, he would have given him guts. Okay, yeah, I think, I think Beautify just solos here. Okay, all good. All good, chat. All right, that is the only point where Beautify is useful in this game, by the way. <laughs> AI switches super rarely. It has to like, there have to be like very, very specific conditions. Should have equipped Silk Scarf actually, there's no reason not to. Oh, it just switched. Okay, all right, I'll take it. Just as we're talking about it, but why? Louder was faster, no? It, it's been a while, but I feel like Switch AI only activates, I thought it only activates when you're slow, but it might, de it might be different for rando trainers. Enemy was slower and you had a Mon that resisted bite. Oh, it's, wait, is it really if enemy is slower? Maybe I'm just thinking about the wrong way around because of, um, because I'm used to be, used to being on the opposite side. No, you're right. It is if enemy is, 
No, it's if you're slower yourself, right? The last victory rate road trainer in my EK run switched. I was it was Salamence versus Metagross. It might be if enemy is slower. If enemy okay, if enemy is slower and you get hit with a move that you have a resistance or an immunity to, then AI has a chance to switch. I think that's how it works. Okay, that's actually better than I thought. It's a little bit more likely than I thought. Cause I think usually we're gonna have faster mons. But I guess we're gonna need it more against mons that are faster against us, so. That is a gulp and switch AI save me? Switch AI ain't gonna save me. I didn't realize this guy would have a gulp in. I'm gonna lose Breloom here. Switch AI can only save me if he uses a poison move. Oh god. It's even got liquid ooze. I'm hard countered! Oh yeah, I I don't even have poison resists, I think. Switch AI can't activate here. I think he's dead. Yeah, we're fucked. Oh god damn it! What why does he have a gulp in, bro? Yeah, this is a wipe to Watson, unfortunately. I don't really see how we can win. No, Watson's first mon does boom in vanilla. That is correct. But it's, I think this is the best shot we have at winning this. This shit's hard. I thought this would be easy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I think realistically this can win. I think. Also, this being out first and dying first prevents some switch AI shenanigans. The AI thunder waving turn one for the speed control. Not bad at all. I think we lose if we don't get a full para. Okay, we'll take it. It's fine. Okay, do we win this 1v1? We have healing. That's lovely. Guess it doesn't super matter with quick attack. Dude, if this sets up like five howls and starts quick attacking my team, I'm actually fucked. Okay, Howl Leer into Shockwave. You love to see it. We're bulky. Okay. I, we That's fine. That's a good move. Well played. Better to Moonlight early when you're paralyzed. Come on. Just Moonlight again. Yep. He's doing it, baby. He's got it. I think he's got it. Moonlight here? Didn't Moonlight. Didn't see a kill. It sees a kill now. I think it'll quick attack. I think? Nope, it didn't. It did, but it got out quick attacked. Okay. This is fine. This is... Okay, it's dead now. Going one for one there? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. This is gonna be Gyarados, because it's got Rock Smash and it's weak to Shockwave. I... Gyarados might just die. Oh yeah, that's... Great move there, AI. Thank you for that. AI doesn't see a kill. It went Thunder Wave. Might be a roll, though. Okay, one Rock Smash. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. And we'll even get this. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I think he has more Super Potions. I think he's saving one for Manic Trick, I'm not sure. Okay, Loudred was above... I think that might have not been good, actually. Loudred should have been below Hariyama here. I didn't think about it also having Rock Smash. Unless it wins the 1v1 here, which would go crazy. Yeah, there's the other super potion. I think he might actually have one more. That was a mistake to put this above Hariyama, because I think Hariyama would have taken this out anyway, but... It's fine. This should be Hari now. I think this kills. It's like minus three. Alright, just one more! It's really good damage. Just two at KO? Unfortunate. I didn't fake out. I fake out would have gotten the kill. It's unfortunately quite a bit of damage. I think this kills. All right! We're through. <sighs> and that's a lot of deaths, but honestly, not the worst. Let's just go in. Ugh. All right, one shot them, Tentacool. You can do it, buddy. That's one. Does this kill? I think it should. Slugma is so frail. Okay, at least she heals now, so we might be able to stall a few turns. Okay. Ugh, that really needed a kill, man. Okay, that was last turn of Sun, but Light Screen's gonna be up for a while. Okay, this one a one-shot anyway. But, like, this camera up is kind of a fraud. Please choose Bubble Beam here. Don't constrict. Surely you only saw a kill with Bubble Beam. Okay, good. It's huge. 
Okay, no Master Balls, and we got no Sunny Day, no Light Screen going into Torkoal. That's pretty damn good. This is honestly fine. We're probably just dead to Body Slam, which is not terrible because that means no Sunny Day. This is actually pretty damn good. It's so bulky though. All right, it's a 5v1. It's probably Sunny Day. Yeah, and now I don't think Water Gun kills. Maybe Shockwave? No way, right? It's a crit. No para, though. This is a heal, right? No! She's out of potions! We win! That was so easy! Good luck! Let's see how much this actually does. That's really good. That's really good. I don't know why I was so worried. Cool. I think this is okay. So this should be slaking because it's a super effective counter. And now my Diana's gonna die. Puddle has been amazing, but so this should be Trapinch because it's the first Pokemon in the party with a super effective move, aka Rock Smash. I removed all PP except for Dig. So this loafs, we dig, and this is just an auto win against slaking now. Okay. <laughs> Unless we don't have enough Dig PP to kill, I think potions are a problem. I, maybe. We'll see. I, I can never remember how like loafing interacts with potions, but this was always going to be an issue with this strat. We just have to see how it plays out. Okay, so this was a potion. I think... I think it's fucked. I think it might be fucked. No, we're fine. Okay, yeah. No, it works. It works. It works. But it's because he potioned on a loaf turn, I think. If he potions on an attack turn, we're fucked. That's two crits. Holy shit. He's actually doing it! Look at him go, my boy! Does he heal again? I don't think so. I think we win. Okay, slacking is down! The only thing that can fuck us now is belly drum shenanigans. So Trapinch is gonna die here. Brave soldier. Let's see if Macho can do this. If not, Hariyama's in the back. That's a lot of damage. Nice. Let's not see any belly drum shenanigans. Because if it does, I think I lose everything except Graveler or maybe the whole run. Okay, that's potentially good because now we can't belly drum because we'll see a kill. Almost actually kills here. That's another potion. We have a chance to crit Karate Chop here, actually. He revenged. That's unfortunate. That's still almost gonna kill. Aw, oh, dude, Machoke, you almost saved yourself, actually. That's crazy. GG. Holy fucking shit. Of course. I somehow managed to fight every single trainer on this route. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not- that's not good at all. That's- that- That doesn't matter. Oh, god. Dizzy Dots! This thing was actually really useful for, like, random fights. Oh, no. You can do it, Wob. Nope, that's not it. Counter? Let's fucking go. You need it. You need one more. You need one more. Nope. Come on. Nope. You just need one. You have like two more turns. Nope. You just need one, bro. I'm gonna lose my mind. Unreal. Unreal. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. If that was me fighting an enemy AI Wobbuffet, how many times do you think it clicks counter there, by the way? Stop using magnitude on the fucking Beautifly! You have rock throw! I can't take this anymore. It's switch AI'd in. Only to fucking die. Please! I can't believe this. What a fucked up day. What a fucked up day. All right. Let's see how far you take us, Azumarill. All right, well, that's that's a good start. That's fine. We're thick fat. They'll, this will do like two damage. Three. Good start. Okay, this is Tropius. 
It needs two turns to ever attack me, so... Oh, it actually just gives me control over learning the moves. Um, I'm not gonna learn this here. Well, actually, I could delete Bubble Beam, huh? Azumarill's usually cool with recoil moves because it has such a high HP stat. So, like, percentage-wise, it just doesn't take a lot. We're actually faster here. It's huge. We won't be if it's sunny days. We don't get the kill. Oh, that's fine. It didn't sunny day. We're fine. Okay. Azumarill is gonna pop the fuck off here. Faye, I deleted Ice Beam here. <laughs> it's fucking based. And we go first. Easy. I was expecting to outspeed, but Tropius is really fucking slow. But then again, so is Azumarill. This is gonna take a while to take down. It'll protect, it'll fucking supersonic, it's just gonna be annoying. We have a lot of HP, but... Yeah, I think Ice Beam is more damage than Double Edge here, I think. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, now it sees Double Edge. That's probably a, it's probably a range, huh? Yeah, that looks pretty similar to me. God damn! He's just frozen solid! He can't do shit! I think she has three potions. I think she'll use one more here, and then save one for the ace. She might only have two, though. Alright. Surely this is where Azumarill runs out of gas. We have a Citrus. It's actually pretty decent damage. The problem is if Azu dies now... Yeah, that's a crit. Um, I think we go... We go Pelipper. Ooh, huge crit. Azu is kind of him. If Azu dies now, AI will go Whalmer first, which might also die. We'll see what happens. We do have Ice Beam. Getting real spooky. We need two Ice Beams to kill. It's only an Orin Berry on the Altaria. Why the fuck did you do that? Are you out of Ice Beams or something? I think I'm out of Ice Beams. Oh no. Okay. That's okay, that's actually decent damage. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We can take one more. You're the fucking GOAT! Once again, the plan is... This is gonna fucking blow up. Kill everything. This is gonna survive. This is gonna come in. Fucking kill something. Because it's in swarm. Hopefully. Die. And then this is gonna clean up with this. I deleted all but one move on every single one of these Pokemon because I do not want to get fucked by some random shit. Ah, fuck it, we ball. It's EK vibes in here, man. With the ghost type and the explosion. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. That was supposed to be beautiful. Eye. That's a little bit awkward. Maybe we see a kill on Lunatone here? Oh yeah, this is max speed bandit. Nice, good targeting. We might lose Sharpedo. I don't know what I was worried about. Easy peasy. Didn't even need to sack Beautifly. And this is when that Talo encounter I've been saving in my box up until the very last gym finally pays off. Those who have seen my other videos know what's coming. It's the cheesiest strategy to rule all cheesy strategies. A strategy so simple, even basic Pokemon AI can execute it. Pre-poisoned, guts, facade, swallow. You see, the biggest problem in this run is that the more time I give the AI to screw up, the higher the likelihood of random switches and bad moves. I need to make my fights as predictable as possible. So, as is the case in a lot of Nuzlocke runs, hyper offense is the solution. The one thing the AI will basically always do, no matter what, is go for a kill if it sees it. And luckily, a Poison Swallow with Facade can outspeed and kill anything, leaving no room for error. At this point, the game is basically checkmated. Swallow sweeps every boss fight left in the game. Sydney, Glacia, Drake, and Wallace, all of them don't stand a chance. As long as we do some trickery to avoid intimidates. Or, in Sydney's case, simply ignore it because the damage is just so damn high. But there's still one more trainer that can ruin my day. With all of her Pokemon immune to facade, Swallow can't do anything. I see a tentative solution in my box in Shadow Ball Abzol, but it doesn't quite pack the punch to sweep. Phoebe's Dusclops is guaranteed to always click Protect on turn 1, so setting up a Swords Dance should be easy for Abzol. But, how do we get our AI to do this? If Absol Shadow Balls into Protect on turn 1, it can get cursed on turn 2, sending my AI into complete chaos and ending my run. But then, I find the final puzzle piece. A Lepa Berry. You see, Lepa Berries restore your Pokémon's PP in battle. The key here is that in Gen 3, berries do not trigger until the very end of the turn. So here's the setup. Before entering the Elite Four, I delete all of Absol's moves except for Shadow Ball and Swords Dance. 
I then use up all of its Shadow Ball PP on Wild Pokemon, leaving it with only Swords Dance and equip the Lepa Berry. As I enter the Phoebe fight, Abzol is guaranteed to use Swords Dance while Dusclops protects. It's its only move left, after all. At the end of that turn, the Lepa Berry triggers, restoring Abzol's Shadow Ball PP, letting AI see the guaranteed kill on Phoebe's entire team, and ensuring the sweep. Glacia falls to Facade. Drake tries to stop it with Salamence's Intimidate, which gets neutralized by the White Herb. And finally, the only thing in our way is the Intimidate from Wallace's Gyarados. We will be using one last AI exploit to complete the game. Leading with Magneton allows us to guaranteed KO Waylord with Thunderbolt. Gen 3 Switch in AI will now look for the Pokemon with the strongest attack and the weakest typing relative to my Pokemon to send in. In this case, Gyarados with a 4x effective Earthquake and a 4x weakness to Electric. The last Intimidate Pokemon of the game is zapped out of the sky. Wallace is guaranteed to send out Whiskash next, which is guaranteed to not set up because it sees a kill on Magneton. Swallow gets sent in next because it's the next Pokemon in line and I have no super effective moves on Whiskash. And we finish the run with one last Facade Sweep. In conclusion, fuck you Graveler, fuck you Wobbuffet, Swallow is broken, subscribe.